Vitaly Basuk, uh, also known as Wolgan Bass, and uh, I am, well, actually a software engineer. And um, usually uh, I work as a Java developer, but uh, today we're going to speak about uh, quite different technologies. Uh, so, uh, first of all, I have a question for you. Did you ever uh, have a product idea? And Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> no. I don't want details, I just want to know. Okay, when, some, when we have an idea, it usually charms us and we try to dive uh, into uh, thinking about how it would be nice when uh, the, uh, everything will be implemented and uh, we just uh, think about how the whole world will be much, much better with our idea. Uh, but, uh, and of course, we get a very nice <laughs> success. But, you know, every good idea should be done. And uh, when you start uh, doing something, uh, for example, me, uh, usually uh, faced with uh, such problem, uh, uh, when I have done a lot, I have connected a lot of things together, but Still, I have no idea whether uh, my, mm, my thinking was uh, absolutely correct or not. So, uh, I have uh, created some infrastructure, mm, binded things, and uh, not try out my idea. Uh, so, uh, the, mm, of, course, uh, of course, I can just uh, use uh, maybe um, another developers, maybe hire another people, and ask them to do a routine wor work and uh, continue to explore things by myself. But uh, when I start, when I have just idea and I don't know whether it works or not, I would prefer to not uh, spend money, and it is quite obvious. Uh, so, uh, and as being developer, it's much better for me to implement the whole thing <coughs> from, from the scratch and to be uh, honest that, uh, oh, it works, nice. Uh, so, actually, uh, that, is, uh, that is the story of what I want to tell you. Uh, this is my, my tries, my tries to go on the way where uh, I can live and not lose the uh, patient about idea and not to sink in the sea or the boil of plate coke. Actually, actually, at the start of this year, I, um, I, I came to the, uh, to the point that I, uh, I would like to uh, to test different new technologies uh, that are uh, possible, um, that are very, very interesting, looks very interesting. Uh, for example, Clojure, and maybe Python, maybe uh, something else. But I started with Node.js. And um, uh, after I started, I decided to explore that guy a bit more uh, because it looks uh, very interesting for me. And maybe, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe. Uh, maybe uh, in the next year I came to you and say, okay, here is something made on Scala, maybe something like that. But uh, currently I have some uh, maybe plan or something like that that will be very nice uh, to, to start with when you start a new project and your uh, product uh, with uh, some idea. So let's imagine very interesting architecture, very common architecture that is very pr uh, pretty uh, simple. Uh, data access layer, business layer, and presentation layer. So some server logic, some data uh, pr uh, persistence, and some uh, UI presentation. Uh, we will uh, explore this and we'll fill a uh, different um, part of this um, uh, common architecture to, uh, with something from the Node.js world. So and let's start with the Node.js that we have on the uh, on this uh, central uh, part. Uh, did you ever heard about Node.js? Who have heard? Oh, who? And who have tried it? <laughs> uh, are there any professional in Node.js? Who? <laughs> 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 
Depends on what you do. I'm, uh, I'm all, also not a professional in Node.js. I'm rather an enthusiast. And, uh, but um, uh, what I have um, uh, explored uh, in, the, uh, in it world, world looks very interesting. So the Node.js is, uh, uh, as you know, uh, 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 even driven a non-blocking IO uh, system. Uh, based on Chrome 8 uh, uh, V8 uh, JavaScript engine, and uh, um, it is uh, actually is done to uh, uh, to work for real uh, time-based uh, data um, uh, data processing applications that uh, could be uh, simply scaled and uh, good process. Uh, uh, High load thing. Uh, so, uh, if you not, uh, uh, know about Node, it's very nice. So you you should be uh, you, you should know the, this schema. Yes, you should. Uh, okay. Uh, the basic philosophy of Node is non-blocking I/O. Uh, that to means that every I/O call uh, will uh, be um, um, will take a callback and will do something later uh, and uh, it is also building support for the most important protocols and also it is low level uh, it uh, allows you a lot to the POSIX layer allows and uh, for example it allows you to help close the uh, TCP connection uh, also it not requires you to buffer something it, uh, it, it is stream oriented so maybe other questions uh, okay. Okay, I think maybe maybe really better will be to ask question uh, as a uh, appear because uh, uh, at the end it will be maybe not very uh, accurate. Okay, what is <coughs> half closed TCP connection? Uh, half closed means that uh, you uh, haven't uh, finished the um, processing request and uh, but uh, still can uh, send some uh, some responses to uh, to the connection that is. Uh, 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 actually, uh, is uh, well, next question. <laughs> it looks for me, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, when you are uh, in a P two P world, uh, you uh, you usually um, the, uh, all the, the torrents like they uh, work. They they use uh, using half close connection to um, to maintain. But maybe this is this is all that I can see. Uh, so, okay. Uh, cool. <laughs> uh, so, uh, with uh, the asynchronous uh, uh, IO processing, uh, we get the code like that. So, uh, instead of just uh, waiting for the uh, file uh, when it uh, when it's read, you just uh, pass the callback, and uh, when the things uh, is uh, are done, you just can uh, call something like console log. Uh, so with with this purpose, you can uh, actually create a server that will actually uh, have a callback and will listen to some port and with. Uh, uh, with uh, every new request, uh, will uh, uh, return a response uh, uh, with a hello world. Um, usually, with the not, uh, with this uh, with this approach, you can also build a maybe better server that will uh, differentiate between uh, between responses. Uh, but uh, actually, this uh, way. Uh, will be as you can see by default we will uh, just uh, write uh, sorry we can find it and when we got a, a request with a JSON in the path uh, we uh, write some some JSON and um, uh, but this uh, this concept uh, is not very nice uh, because you just get a big switch with a lot of case uh, and when you for example want to process uh, another, uh, different parameters it will be 
uh, nightmare. So uh, we need to hire some uh, web frameworks to uh, to support the ro routing and maybe some additional features. Uh, one of that is an express. Express is um, a Sinatra uh, inspired uh, web framework uh, made for Node.js. It is quite popular and you can uh, find uh, some products already built on it, uh, for example, JitList uh, and LearnBoost, um, um, coding, also uh, are made based on, uh, 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 done based on uh, Express. Um, so, using uh, uh, such kind of web framework, we can uh, rewrite our first uh, uh, application uh, in the, uh, this uh, manner. So, you get an app, you tr just require an express and call, the, uh, call it, and uh, we just create a uh, mapping to, uh, to the uh, index uh, with some function. Um, the, the next our example with Express will look like uh, like that. Uh, so it, it actually it looks like uh, it looks much better. But let us uh, let's summarize what Express does for us. Um, Express uh, process, uh, allows us to, to process uh, request parameters. Process request actually uh, it allows to uh, to build the routing as you see. Uh, it also um, uh, have a nice uh, possibilities to render uh, render different views for, uh, for to a response and uh, uh, also provide a middleware. Uh, the middleware concept that uh, just processing and the request adding uh, some uh, some uh, some meaningful things to uh, request like um, maybe you can see. Um, uh, cross site uh, uh, cross um, um, oh. <laughs> uh, request forgety cross site request forgety uh, token or uh, like that. Uh, so uh, actually, I'm trying to overview a lot of technologies in this presentation. So maybe we uh, will be uh, running very very uh, very very fast. Uh, but now we go uh, to the uh, express example uh, and uh, here I just need to show you uh, the main points uh, what, what, how uh, you can use it. Um, you can configure your application uh, with uh, setting some, uh, um, uh, some additional parameters for example uh, we, uh, for, for the view engine and also uh, define what to use from uh, from the middleware. For example, Express Body Parser is a middleware that will parse the body uh, of the request. And this chain is uh, actually uh, it, it is a sequ uh, sequential chain uh, of processing uh, request after uh, each uh, the another uh, element will uh, we will go to the to the next. So it is easy to maintain. Um, the, the the chain of uh, middleware process, uh, processors and uh, actually if you want for example to have uh, uh, some uh, error scan then you can just add another line uh, after a router and uh, everything uh, what was not found or maybe just throw an exception for, uh, from the from, from the previous will be handled will be, will go to the to the uh, last uh, your last middleware. Um, and uh, this is the routing part of uh, our uh, Express uh, application. So as you can see, you can easily define a REST, um, a REST application, uh, a REST approach using uh, the Express uh, web framework. Uh, so maybe now, uh, now uh -huh. uh, questions about Express. <laughs> Express running uh, into node. Okay. Uh, so uh, to to summarize the, the no, node uh, thing, uh, so actually that uh, cent uh, central part of uh, our architecture, uh, we you know, might say uh, what what is good about node. And good is 
uh, that we still are with the uh, language that we uh, actually knew before and uh, which is well, well known uh, language. Uh, of course, it has additional API that is not uh, on the browser that are not on the browser side, and uh, but still they are quite um, well documented and uh, you can understand them. Um, it allows uh, with uh, Express you can uh, build the REST uh, uh, API and uh, um, it gives you a profit of creating um, applications of such type. Uh, well, actually with Node you do not need to have additional server config for, for, for the beginning. <laughs> when you start, when you go to production, you will need uh, uh, much more. But but to, to start to test your idea, you you just need to do a node and your application uh, finally. Uh, it supports real time applications that are very uh, be became more uh, more and more and more uh, um, popular in, uh, nowadays, and also uh, has a big community and have uh, a lot of. But there are also disadvantages of Node, uh, as, as it is still not mature enough. Uh, we still have no the uh, version number one, uh, and uh, uh, the, the app is gonna change, and uh, there are there will be still uh, changes. And uh, when you run into production, you will need to, to learn a bit more about uh, configuration. So uh, it it like, mm, just uh, looks shiny, but <laughs> but it could be not so not so nice. And uh, yes, it's not for a big CPU routines. So, for example, if you uh, have uh, if you need to do uh, some big tasks in your uh, I don't know, for example, to calculate a Fibonacci number in in, in the process of in process of your request, uh, it's not for uh, for no actually. And uh, the asynchronous uh, asynchronous code will be not uh, could looks not very nice when you start just adding the callback, 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 <coughs> one into another. <coughs> but after some practice, you can learn uh, to uh, to expect uh, uh, these callbacks to to run uh, run them better. And uh, yes, and there is also a uh, point about uh, not enough tools. Uh, actually, there are a lot of them, but for, for some specific, uh, specific stuff, like you know, maybe image processing, just, no, there's still a uh, library for, for, for some um, specific processing, uh, it could be not uh, enough. So, uh, that was uh, about not, ah, and for, further, really. Uh, what we can read about Node is official API. There's a mix of uh, notebook that is, um, that is a free book from a Japanese developer. Uh, Note up and running. I noticed that it, it, in, uh, it is on the table also, also and you can uh, get a free uh, version, uh, free online version. Uh, on the uh, or, or rail, uh, rail uh, side uh, and uh, also a couple of uh, useful modules mm, for example I have uh, I haven't uh, said an, uh, anything about uh, testing but there, there are testing uh, frameworks and you can learn so next section uh, the same <laughs> so uh, we we have uh, analyzed we have, have some idea about what we put on the central part, and as we have the JavaScript and we have the JSON, we can use a similar thing on the uh, data uh, level, and it could be MongoDB. Yeah, MongoDB is document-oriented storage. For JSON style documents with dynamic schemas, full index support, and rich document base for queries. So, uh, what, what is nice about one? Um, you can uh, you can be not very uh, happy with it, but actually, I like the, uh, the idea of 
schema list. Because uh, when you have no schema, that means you, you can extend your data uh, without any additional changes. So when you just prototype something, you will just add another data, uh, some, some data, and you will get the data stored. And that is very um, inspiring, <laughs> like that, uh, when you when you just uh, constantly change. Uh, and what about curious? Uh, you know, uh, here is a simple example, but. It looks very nice to me. And there are a lot of information about MongoDB. Uh, have you heard about it? Okay. Actually, I don't. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I, um, I don't think that uh, we have a lot of time to discuss MongoDB concepts. Uh, what I actually want to point uh, here is a way of connecting Node.js with MongoDB. It is a Mongo skin. Um, based on native uh, MongoDB dri uh, driver, uh, simple library that allows you sim uh, to easy to connect uh, to your MongoDB using um, the simple URL stream, uh, stream and bind, uh, for example, uh, additional masses to collections. Uh, that is very nice uh, in order when you want to. Uh, to access uh, later with um, um, and you uh, you want to to have some nice um, um, uh, nice domain masses for example for for your collections it will be uh, good for, for for reading for for, for your code actually uh, so um, I'm uh, back again, and we will go into the biggest part of this presentation. Uh, it is a presentation layer, it is in UI. So, UI, UI is usually the, the biggest uh, work. And uh, to make things done uh, good, we need to have some requirements about UI. Um, so you know, uh, the browsers were made uh, quite simple and uh, at the beginning and the HTML specification was quite uh, simple. Uh, for example, uh, Mark Anderson from uh, Mosaic uh, told us uh, that Tim uh, Berners-Lee, uh, the man who invented uh, HTML, uh, bought uh, about uh, bold him out uh, because he added the image tag. Uh, Tim Berners-Lee actually uh, thought that nobody wants to have an image in your HTML page. Oh, but but things change, uh, changing, and um, the problem is that uh, you actually have no um, nice tool uh, to declare your uh, application. And uh, uh, aha, yes. Uh, so uh, and uh, to uh, to use somehow uh, the ability of HTML of UI, uh, the people start to to make tricks to to explore uh, some new possibilities, to, uh, some injections or like that. And uh, it all became uh, it all became a big. Uh, horror, uh, actually. Uh, so um, let's go to, to the yes to, to the requirement for our framework. Yes, the, the better, the best way to uh, to de uh, to define presentation is to declare presentation because actually presentation it is something that you look at. So it should be declared what what should put uh, be put. Where and uh, um, the, the main point is to have some tool that allows you to, to define uh, your application layout. And with the uh, with current approach, we are on the point when uh, when, it, when it looks like and the whole our application is just a side effect of a big JavaScript listing that we have done just to get this side effect. So instead of just declaring something, we just write a lot of code, code a lot of JavaScript code, 
and uh, as a result, um, maybe not uh, not the main result, which we uh, which was the purpose of, uh, we got our application. So better to have it declarative way. Uh, dynamic application out of the box means that, uh, um, and uh, uh, I'll show you an example. Let's let's see on this uh, this small screen. Here is your value, and here is a double a double value from from your value. How nice it will be to define uh, some, uh, if you change uh, the number, it will be changed, uh, the, the, the last line will be changed. How, how nice it will be to have the code like that? Just to say, okay, and here is the value, uh, multiply for two. And that is a point of dynamic application out of the box. So that's the same declarative and nice way to, to define the name in your uh, Also, uh, the good point is not uh, no no need to extend uh, some uh, some framework classes or uh, maybe to to support some uh, some models uh, etc etc. Uh, also, uh, also uh, a good point is to have a, a REST. Uh, Support and uh, as less code as uh, as it could be. So <coughs> yes, Angular JS yes. uh, product uh, sponsored by Google uh, is uh, something we will uh, discuss. The core features of Angular JS yes, uh, is a two-way uh, two data binding. We'll go uh, on every of this uh, points. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, the one-way data binding means when you have uh, some template uh, that you define, and uh, you have some model, then you merge them, and you got the view. But <coughs> when your uh, model will change, it means you need to go through this process once more. And when your model gonna change uh, quite often, you'll be you'll, you'll do a lot of um, this process merging and uh, actually uh, DOM manipulation. The two-way uh, data binding is good because you have continuous updates of model to view, and uh, your template is just a compiled way of. Uh, bind, uh, to, uh, binding your data to, uh, to, to, to the um, uh -huh. So here is an example. It is the usual way uh, when you have some span and you uh, have an ID and you want to set uh, in our text, uh, you can do this in such way. Uh, but that means that when you want to say uh, set uh, another value, you need to, to do this uh, again. And uh, the, main, uh, the good point is also that you need to you are binded to to your uh, uh, to your ID in your JavaScript uh, code. And with uh, two-way data binding, you get things like that. So you have defined uh, the, ver uh, the variable, you have uh, a template, and mm, you can mm, mm, uh, you, you got your view and uh, you use it to bind. Uh, oh. Model view, whatever. Uh, actually, uh, people on Angular just um, uh, have this uh, like a like a joke because uh, you know, you know MVC, you know MVP, and uh, they actually say that they have MVV. Um, <coughs> by model view, whatever, we uh, got the uh, the situation when. Um, mm, we have view, and view is a just uh, plain, um, actual, <laughs> like uh, uh, an HTML, specific HTML, but still HTML. 
uh, the, the model is uh, the, uh, is everything that you get, uh, every data that you have in your uh, replication uh, application, and uh, and uh, this whatever part actually that is defined as a controller uh, is something that control the uh, the scope, and uh, so when you have uh, some uh, view like that. Uh -huh. stuff not working, so, so in uh, this point, you have a controller defined, and this controller actually controls the scope of everything that is built here. So, uh, in fact, um, here is a scope, is actually like a model, a part of the model, and uh, in your controller, you can change uh, values in the scope, and it will uh, by the two-way binding changed in your view. Um, another feature is uh, uh, HTML templates. Uh, the, the, the HTML templates uh, is a way to extend your, um, your abilities to, uh, to declare something with, uh, with an HTML. Uh, there are a, a lot of um, uh, nice uh, Angular di directors, but we'll uh, we'll talk uh, uh, a bit about uh, them later. And um, uh, actually, using uh, using this that library, you can um, extend the ability of uh, dynamic uh, view building and. Uh, 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 data processing. For example, here we, we can see the, uh, the way of creating uh, the um, uh, things like uh, image uh, uh, image list uh, by using ng repeat. Uh, uh, it just iterates through the, uh, through the scope uh, through the images that are uh, inside the scope. Um, <coughs> uh, Actually, the problem is uh, I wanted to, to, uh, to, to program a bit, and I will, uh, I'm going to show, show you some uh, something how it works uh, in, the, uh, in real life. But uh, I miss the point that uh, I have not a, a good connector, so we need to go through the through this uh, static uh, pages. Uh, also, it just it provides a um, uh, deep linking. Uh, it is a, a way a way of uh, binding some uh, uh, some part of your uh, path to uh, to different um, uh, to different part of your uh, uh, code. Uh, we will uh, I will point it about uh, about it later when we are when we. Will uh, speaking about ro routing, uh, but mm, the point here is that you uh, can uh, actually uh, have uh, um, uh, have a, mm, uh, good access to your location uh, process. So uh, dependency injection. Um, uh, Angular uh, team provides uh, a very nice uh, um, thing like uh, dependency in injection that is built on the on the uh, ability to um, to get uh, services uh, that you really want. So uh, instead of uh, just uh, calling something from uh, from um, somewhere. You can uh, define what you uh, gonna uh, gonna have. Uh, for example, in, in this example, I want to have scope, and you uh, and you can just say it using uh, the dollar sign, and uh, that uh, uh, in, in such a ca controller um, you, you can uh, use the dollar sign and uh, uh, say uh, I want the, the scope to, uh, to, uh, to be injected in, into this controller. For example, if you want uh, some uh, road uh, uh, params uh, uh, functionality, you just can inject it uh, using uh, this uh, dollar sign road params. 
what is good about that that you uh, should not um, care about the uh, order of params so it's not uh, just a function that will get a number of params, uh, uh, some static number of uh, some static params. You just can define the things you want uh, here. And and the directives. Directives is uh, uh, the best uh, thing in uh, Angular JS. As it allows you to extend an HTML to to have a new uh, new tags uh, or new attributes that will do some uh, work in, uh, in, in, uh, in behind and uh, uh, allows to um, uh, allows you just to, to put this uh, HTML tag and do not uh, um, no. so the, uh, the good point is that you can test your directive and then you know uh, that your directive works and then you just use it uh, when de declaring your application is in templates. So uh, you can uh, provide it, uh, uh, for example, instead of, um, uh, yes, and another, another uh, point is uh, uh, the, um, the, um, the, uh, the le uh, le less of code means uh, you, uh, you do not repeat yourself. For example, if you uh, have the, uh, the HTML like that, where you define the list, uh, and you need to, to use uh, such kind of um, uh, such kind of template uh, a lot of times. Uh, you just better to uh, create directors that will allow you to write things like like that, and uh, it uh, will be much more simpler. And uh, um, actually, it it creates a, a bit of domain logic in your uh, application. Uh, so, um, uh, the other features of uh, AngularJS uh, are uh, filters uh, and just the ability to create another function that will uh, get an input, uh, process, it, process it, and, uh, 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 and will uh, re uh, re result with, uh, with another uh, value. Um, the services, uh, when you're going um, uh, to um, for example, when you uh, want to have uh, the, uh, re uh, the, uh, the REST support, and you're gonna, uh, to, uh, you, you have the REST API, and you know that you have users, uh, slash, and so on. Uh, it's quite easy to create uh, uh, such a service uh, that will give you uh, users uh, using uh, um, uh, special methods you will get user uh, user get user query user um, save user uh, delete um, methods and uh, also as you can uh, see here uh, you need uh, to uh, you have a dependency injection uh, example when you use a resource uh, uh, ability uh, in angular and uh, actually this services uh, could be also injected like in the uh, example, uh, the previous example. Here you can see the user, uh, the last parameter, and uh, the an uh, Angular uh, actually um, automatically maintains that uh, you have uh, you want to get user. Then it looks for some factories that will give uh, give you a user. So uh, this will be the actual working work example of uh, dependency injection. And one more feature is rows. An ability to say when, uh, uh, when users want to go to, the, uh, to this path, let you me, uh, let you uh, template like, uh, by this URL and uh, so it was a controller. So, <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, Angular is uh, quite. Um, mm. It is something that could be a, a completely um, um, individual theme for the for the presentation. But uh, actually, I'm just uh, pointing here, uh, uh, not uh, the Angular uh, SEs, but uh, as a 
a nice library to use when you starting up. Um, and um, uh, let's look on, uh, on a complete example. I just put a script here, but you know, of course you know better to extract it to, to some uh, another file. So with, with uh, not more effort, you can create um, an application, uh, uh, some, uh, some application that really reads uh, quite well. You can um, uh, see um, uh, see how it uh, how uh, how it will lay out, and uh, you can control um, the, um, the the state of your application without changing the DOM. Uh, so you have it uh, with uh, Mangler. You have got uh, quite dynamic applications that uh, do not need from you a lot of native uh, manipulation actually with the uh, with the query and, and, and digging dig into into JavaScript. So uh, that um, that was a point about Angular and Angular resources and I will also uh, quite useful. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, for example, on, um, uh, on uh, uh, there is an Angular G uh, UI and Angular uh, Bootstrap, uh, where uh, a lot of uh, big set of directives that are already prepared for you, and you can use them and uh, get profit. Uh, there are a lot of tutorials and uh, documentation about uh, thing. And now all together. Actually, uh, uh, the whole my presentation in code this Amigo. It is a sync uh, that uh, actually creates a, a simple uh, crude projects for you with a, with a small uh, two steps. npm install uh, for global Amigo, then Amigo to do. And then you <coughs> And again, we have no network here. And, um, I have, uh, so, how it will look like? Uh, it will start to ask you about your project uh, properties, uh, like uh, what uh, port on Mongo you want to connect, uh, uh, what uh, session cookie you want to have, and uh, so on and so on. And uh, in the, in the, also it will ask you maybe you want some resources, for example, for to do, you can just create a task. And I'm working on the, the, the point to, uh, to allow um, internal resources like uh, uh, task commands uh, and so on. And uh, you can define uh, fields you want and you get the, 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 the small, simple, crude application already done, uh, generated using uh, all the technologies that we are uh, fly through. Uh, so the, the features is resource scaffolding, it's MongoDB storage, it, uh, and uh, it creates a role uh, uh, based on Angular for you, it uh, creates a resource factory to and allow the REST uh, connection uh, for you, it has a small uh, uh, authentication, also session support, that, uh, uh, sessions that are stored in the, the same MongoDB. So, it's not a perfect application, you cannot run with, uh, into production with it, but it is something, uh, actually, it is some, uh, something that I, uh, I think uh, would be nice to have, because uh, um, there are small things that you cannot, uh, you can, um, uh, you cannot, uh, fetch from the uh, from uh, from the uh, initial documentation some some small tricks and uh, actually I, I am currently uh, developing uh, the, this small library and uh, I will be uh, uh, evolving it and maybe it will be better or maybe it will be uh, just deleted one day because <laughs> nobody wants it uh, so uh, demo, no, no demo. Uh, sorry. And thanks. I don't take questions and answers. I have a question. 
that uh, is it possible to edit previously generated application with Amigo in case if I want to make some slight modifications, maybe I forgot something, or I have to generate completely new one? No, no. The, the main point of Amigo is just to create uh, some applications that will start. You will see, okay, it started. Now I want to have uh, to uh, to create changes, and then you go into a mingle, uh, into generated files, and uh, it it is just a simple simple project, like like uh, as you were creating it from scratch. But uh, it is already something is already generated. You can just look up. Ah, okay, it, it was done in such way. Okay, I will take uh, uh, that, and I will. Re uh, Rework it a, a bit, and we'll do. Uh, we'll make it for my needs. So uh, you can throw it away, actually, and just uh, just learn something from it, and uh, create your own application from scratch, and uh, do not uh, ever uh, remember that you have uh, ever seen the Amigo. It's just a mi Amigo that <laughs> that will uh, that maybe maybe help, maybe will be helpful. Okay, so answer is no. I cannot open previously generated project and uh, do some modifications, maybe let some uh, questions to be answered in the same way and answer uh, another questions in another way. For example, I want, I want to make change in uh, I don't know, MongoDB port. So you go to, to the generated configuration and change Only. it. So Amigo does not help me in this case, right? Uh, you mean regenerate some? Yeah. You, you want you want to uh, interruptly uh, re regenerate uh, things. For example, I don't know where to put some option. Ah, okay. No, uh, it is not. Uh, it is a learning tool. It's not uh, not a tool that maintains your project generation. It, uh, it's just a demo demo tool. But maybe in <laughs> some future plan. Um, no questions. Too much information. <laughs> okay, thanks.